I want to I want to pick up on a couple of uh, couple of the comments I made at breakfast and just reinforce a couple points. Uh, first of all, my thanks in advance to all of you guys for uh, for some good service work today, uh, this morning, and uh, guys, just as a reminder, uh, you know we we uh, we live a I like to say a, a rich and full life here on the point. We've got a lot of things going on. You guys have a lot of responsibilities which you take care of really, really well. But what we always have to keep in mind is that we live uh, as part of a larger community, and in our case, that larger community is Canaan, the town of Canaan. Uh, boys, Cardigan Mountain School has existed uh, here since 1945, and we've always had uh, a very good, close working relationship with the town of Canaan. Um, we've got lots of people from Canaan who work at the school and who, uh, whose families have for generations worked at the school. We've had lots of students from, from Canaan. And many, uh, many faculty members at Cardigan have, uh, have lived in Canaan over the years. So suffice it to say, it matters a lot to us to be good neighbors, to, be, uh, to provide good service, to make good use of our resources here at the school uh, in a way that helps, serve, helps to serve the larger community. All right. We've done a number of these kinds of community service days over the years, and what pleases me more than anything else, guys, is when I get reports back from different people who say, you know, those boys at Cardigan, they worked really hard, they really helped us out, they, they were polite, respectful, friendly. You're going to spend a lot of time probably outdoors, uh, which is great, but keep... Uh, Stay focused, guys, on, on the real purpose of what we're doing, which is to be as helpful as possible. Uh, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Sinclair, who is going to uh, do an introduction of, uh, of a gentleman who, um, in the town of Canaan, provides a lot of leadership and a lot of good service. And Mr. Sampson will, uh, will likely have a few words for all you guys. So thanks, boys. Thanks a lot. Uh, as Ryan mentioned, my name is Mike Sampson. I'm the manager of the town of Canaan. And what does that really mean? Well, it means that I do the same thing you do. I provide a lot of community service to our town. What's a community? Community is really nothing more than a large number of people coming together and sharing part of their lives. You share your life with other people at Carnegie Mountain School, with the faculty at Carnegie Mountain School. That's part of sharing your life experiences. And that's what happens in a community. When you become adults, and you leave the times that you shared playing together in sports, you're still going to be together as a community somewhere for your whole life. You're going to be sharing recreation experiences and social experiences. You're going to be working in a community. You're going to be relying on those folks in the community to be your customers, either for services or goods. You're going to be relying on a lot of people in your community. And they're going to be relying on you as well. As long as you're able to do that, and everybody else in the community does that, you'll have a really powerful community that actually achieves great things. But all of your individual quirks, all of your individual uh, skills are critical in the community. So you have to really come together, recognize each other's abilities, and, and work together. And why do it? Because everything you put into that community will be returned to you in that community. Last year, how many people were on the work crew last spring? You had a whole new crew for you, Mr. Sanders. A whole Samson. new crew. Well, a couple of you were there. And a couple of you were experienced having all the kids form a conga line from the third floor of the library down to the dump trucks. We got hit with a labor inspection two days after that work was done. We would have flunked the Department of Labor safety inspection with all the garbage we had on the third floor in the library. The efforts of the kids that worked last spring on the library saved the town of Canaan well over $15,000. So are we appreciative? It isn't just about what you give, it's also what you receive back from the community. Now, your community right now is Cardigan Mountain School, but you're still part of a greater community. You're part of the town of Canaan. Why? You're here. 
not only are you here, but you've worked in the community. You're going to leave eventually and go to a greater community. It could be another school. It could be ultimately when you're an adult, a community like a regular town or the country or frankly the globe. Now in the greater Canaan community, as a group, we raise taxes on property. That's how we pay for all of our services like roads and fire protection and police protection and water and sewer and recreation and cemeteries and all the other things that towns provide. That's what we do is we raise money on property. We tax it. Okay? A Carnegie Mountain School contributes to that. Carnegie Mountain School pays about $56,000 a year to support the town of Canaan. As a group of people, as 4,000 people in Canaan, collectively, all those people put in over $8 million a year to support the community. So does it sound like all give? No. You know why? As, as it was mentioned earlier, Carnegie has been a long time participant in Canaan. And the town of Canaan exempts property from taxation in, for Cardigan Mountain School. How much? If we tax, it would raise about $400,000. So it's a partnership between the people in the town and between you folks, the students, the faculty members, and the administration of the school. Why? Because we all see a need to work together take a role in the community to do something for other people. We believe in the quality of education that Carnegie Mountain has and offers you. We believe it's critical not just for Canada, but it's critical for our country and for the communities you're going to end up in. You have a role. It's up to you to determine what that role is in any community. You know what your skills are? You know what your weaknesses are. You know where you need help, and you know where you can help. I'm fairly great. I've been around a fair amount of time. I've worked in industry. I've run manufacturing businesses. I've run municipalities. I've run counties. I've run co-op associations. I believe when I was your age, just slightly older than you, when I was about 14, 15, that what I was supposed to do was use whatever talents I had to make communities better, whether it's a manufacturing community or whether it's government. Why? Because I was good at it. You will find what you're good at. I don't care whether it's sports, academics, whatever it is, you will find what you're good at. Give it back. Give it to the other people in your community because you will be getting back so much more. And finally, you're going to go out there and you're going to work for us today. I really do appreciate that. There's 90 kids going out, getting $20 an hour times three hours during the day. It's a lot of money, but that's not really the benefit of the town. The benefit of the town is you're showing other people you care and you're going to help make this a better community. So. Let me just say thank you. Now's the time.